What's up, everyone? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. This is the legitimate paradise out here, boys. Uh, super nice, super sunny out. About as hot as it gets out here in this time of year. But uh, this is the back porch of our house. I don't know if you guys knew that, but that's how nice it is back there. Uh, so we haven't done much today, uh, except I stitched these on here. One of these is going out today, and there's one more left. Uh, if someone wants to just let me know, and I'll let you know if it's still available. I got two beanies going to Virginia, and one, hold on, I don't know where they're going. Either way, there's this order. The red, white, and blue hat, one. And then there is one black hat going to somewhere. I forget exactly, but that's what's going on right now. But all these hats, these two, and all these are hand stitched, so it takes a really long time. It's part of the reason why they're more money in $5 shipping because it costs anywhere from three to like eight dollars so it just evens out across the board but we're going to the post office arlo actually has an appointment at the vet at three today because he keeps hitting himself on the face um, due to his rotten teeth and we don't want to have to him have to feel like that so hopefully they'll say that they want to put him under and do a teeth cleaning and maybe pull some teeth because it could be the benefit of the rest of his life. So that's what I hope they're going to do. But I have a hot water heater I got to pick up at some point today. And that's pretty much the plan so far. So we're going to package up these hats right now. Arlo's very upset, keeps clawing at the door, crying because we can't let him out today because he has a vet appointment and we don't know if we'll be able to get him at the same time. So he has to stay inside, but it's uh, it's for his own protection. Bye, Bye Lola. Make it quick, I'll Love shut this. Is the keys in there, though? Do you have the keys? All right, we're at the post office. Summer's Point, we got one hat going to Wisconsin. It's the last red, well, there's one more, but that's the last red, white, and blue knob hat in existence, pretty much. We got one package going to Washington, right? Mm -hmm. And then one going to Virginia. So that's the claim. Stop it. All right, I wanted to show you guys this real quick. The lighting is not good in here, but this guy from the flea market that we had a booth next to, he gave us this fire starter and this little cartridge to test uh, our Polaroid to see if that works. He said we'll be able to tell if it's worth getting film for it. So hooked up from the boy. I would claim full hookup. All right, we got to take Arlo to the vet at three. So. We got a few minutes to go on a quick bike ride here, so we came over to the boardwalk. It's gonna be like a 15 minute bike ride, and then we gotta go, but still fun on the bond. What's wrong with your tire, bro? Flattest tire ever. I should have pumped it up, but we didn't have time, so it is what it is. The Goldie. Quick scrap score over here. Just a quick fan for the boy. Someone cut the cord on here. Don't know why they wouldn't have just taken the whole thing. But scrap dreams. That's two pieces. This is a good 
good piece too. Actually, I think there's a whole bag of these things in there. just got his weight taken he's only 7.2 pounds which is actually lost weight a couple pounds too light for the baby I would say because he's very skinny but he um I don't know they're gonna check his teeth I guess he needs to get a cleaning is what I'm claiming getting down. We don't know. We don't know how old he is really either. Yeah, his he's grandpa says 12, but I don't know. We can tell he's an old cat and he was in a house. Well, they don't have George Laffer. All right, getting the very tail end of this sunset. But it was really glorious. I just couldn't really film it that easily because it was just houses in the way and the GoPro can't really zoom in on anything. But you guys can see the difference. It's like pink and red at the bottom there. But it makes you feel special. It's significant in the way that there's never going to be another sunset exactly the same as this every single day a different picture is painted when the sun goes down well i guess the sun never really goes down the planet just moves but uh it's kind of like a the human every single person is individual in their own way and i feel like people forget that you're supposed to be uh uh, uh how do you even say it unique in your own way and that's what makes humanity awesome but people always try to copy everyone else because they want to fit in or be accepted and that's not the way to live life but uh david ike probably stolen says you were born an original don't die a copy and i think that's really true because every little kid has their own individual style and stuff but then as they grow older, they become conscious of everyone else around them and try and change the way they are to fit a, a mold. And that's just bullshit. But we're back here in the neighborhood where we live, kind of back more towards the parkway, just cruising around, living the dream. So it's a good scrap claim for the dream. Is that what you're saying? All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be look, uh, over there in a little bit, probably later, so I'm going to definitely check it out. Yeah, yeah, you can't miss it. It's a big uh, orange dumpster. Scrap claims for the dream. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thanks, dude. Yeah, no problem. Good looks. Peace. Just got a call from the boy claiming he went, saw a dumpster, went and looked in it, and there was an AC unit, garage doors and a bunch of wire so probably when I go over to my mom's house later I'll check that out for sure because scrap dreams are the only dreams really out today in this day and age what's the claim? I don't have one scrap claim? oh now you want to look alright we're in Walmart right now but what's up with this? Oh wait, are you allowed to have animals in here? Why would they have that sign? What if we put Arlo in here? <laughs> Alright, if you guys want to see what we like to buy at this store. Yoohoo. Actually, we've never bought that before. 
but hot pockets this is five cheese not four which is kind of weird i thought it was always four cheese pizza that people claim but i get the cheese ones because i don't eat meat uh so i don't get the meat lovers toaster strudel which sammy got me got me into never knew about them well i think i i claim i had them at my church one time but she's saying that's insane but strawberry is the good one so far that i've had 80 cent chips from walmart this whole bag for 80 cents and then we got the regular ones too but these are salt and vinegar my all-time favorite cereal captain or cinnamon toast crunch i like captain crunch too but this is the dreamer one and that's cheap at walmart too everything is i mean you can't really you can talk shit on walmart but the prices are too good to pass up is that the last item mini muffins. uh what are they uh she got the mini muffins the hostess mini muffins birthday cake claim and uh, we just ate some of those on the ride home honestly so good but that's pretty much all we bought not that crazy but if you want to well we got a, actually a pound of cooper sharp cheese which literally only know about it for my grandfather and lola knows because he used to eat it his whole life i'm assuming and my grandfather said he goes crazy for that cheese when we asked him about it and then she got uh Honey maple turkey. I uh, asked for honey roasted. I don't know if that's different, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> making sandwiches now, and I've gone pretty much my entire life almost with a single toaster. And I don't know, once you have the luxury of the double toaster, you would never want to go back because I can make one sandwich for me, one sandwich for her at the same time and not have to have one sitting around uh, while making the other one. So that's that's the dreamer. Also, we got that toaster for free. Keep life. All right, rolled up to this scrap yeah. claim. What do you want me to do with it? Throw it outside. <laughs> <laughs> rolled up to this scrap claim that Eric told us about and it's heavy, it's really heavy actually. <laughs> Like, we got two garage doors there, two here, um, some nails right there, a bunch of wire, and this, this AC unit, which is so heavy, but I'm going to try and get all of it. We'll see how this works out. Um, yeah, about to just turn the car off for a second here and just see what I can fit. I guess get the footage of me dropping this thing out of here. It's really around here though. Oh my god, this thing is so loud.
What do you need this thing for? These are metal. That door is? Yeah. The whole door. So we scored that scrap dream. Thought it was a pretty cool claim to have Sammy film me drop the uh, AC unit out of there. I'm trying to look. Let's see. Couldn't look what was going on there, but yeah, this thing's drained uh, already. So I can take that apart easy, no problem at all and cash in on all that copper too. So that's a dream come true, boys. Shout out to Eric again for that one. He always hooks it up. All right, here we are back at the house, ready to go to sleep for the night. Um, so Arlo had to go to the vet today. He got a shot of some, what is it, antibiotics? Mm -hmm. I thought they said steroids, but uh, it was way off. But he has maybe an infection in his mouth. Um, that's what's causing his breath to be so gr uh, bad. I was going to say gross. It is gross, but it's still cute. He's still a cutie. But we scored some last-minute scrap, too, at the end of the night here. Uh due to a tip from my friend Eric, but tomorrow, hopefully we're gonna get a, a hot water heater from Chuck. He called me about it today, but I just didn't have time to pick it up and then maybe do a scrap run. But also maybe tomorrow, I might have to take my grandfather to the doctor in Philadelphia. Well, probably both of us will go because she was claiming she would go too. Sammy just rolls with the crew, we're team now, teamwork. But uh, yeah, my dog is sick, my mom's dog is sick and she's like stressed out about it so she was asking if we could take uh, my grandfather so we might be doing that tomorrow heavy claim but something you got to do in life um i was just reading some comments and some lady was i don't know what she was thinking she was saying that we were drunk or high but i don't know how she couldn't tell maybe she doesn't watch our videos all the time but both of us are totally completely sober um, we don't smoke even weed, which is, I mean, totally harmless in my opinion, but we don't even do that or drink ever. So I don't know what that was all about. I guess people just get real negative about their own lives and then they start lashing out because they're jealous of other people's happiness, I guess is what's happening with a lot of these negative comments. But, um, I mean, everyone's been jealous in their life. But I just think that if you don't want to watch the video, don't. I mean, I don't really watch YouTubers that I don't enjoy their videos. But I still give everyone the credit of, you know, if you're on there making videos, you deserve at least a little bit of credit if you're doing it often. But, um, yes, I was actually watching some of the Scrap Kingdom today. So, shout out to the boy. He's been pushing pretty hard on his channel making videos all the time and I didn't realize he had so many on there so go check that out if you guys don't know what it is already um yeah just just I think in life you gotta just I say it every night but keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing push past the negativity push past the negative comments push past the negative enforce forces in your life negative influences all that shit just cut it out and just look you know the other way when it comes to that kind of stuff i take the hate almost at this point as a, a gift because it's just juicing up you know the channel the person's on there they claiming they hate us they hate the video but they're still watching that and multiple other videos so like if they had a real life that they were happy with they wouldn't even waste their time so it's just kind of like their inner unhappiness coming out and that's how everything is in life it starts on the inside and it comes out so first you got to find your happiness to you know be a positive 
influence and a positive person to other people. So every battle starts on the inside. And Arlo is running away from his food right now, which is weird. But yeah, we're we're good. On, um, we are about to go to sleep. It's actually pretty late. So we will see you guys in the morning for some more claims for the dream. But uh, everyone just keep pushing. Like I say all the time, just keep pushing your dream. Keep pushing your life. You know, no matter where you are, it's always, you know, if you have a drive, you're, you're always going to get to the next level. So I'll see you guys in the morning for some more claims. You. Sammy, Jay. Excuse my pimple cream. What are you saying? <laughs> what are what am I saying? Yeah. Good night or good morning. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Sorry, I'm just too drunk and high right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just kidding. Say it. Say what? Be nice about it. I mean. I'm like seven months clean if you would have seen me when I was getting high. I never really drank, but you would know I'm not drunk or high. Yeah. But good night. Well, good morning. <laughs> it was just one comment, people, but we get real upset sometimes about it. Not upset, but with all the positivity that we put out, we don't understand negativity, so. Yeah. We kind of, I personally do. I don't know if she does, but I kind of like dwell on negative comments because at this point they're so few and far in between it's like why what's there's nothing necessary about it but yeah well it's just a slap in the face because i mean i've been through a lot with my recovery and i'm doing really well so just keep those negative comments to yourself you know i don't know i know but, but we do get more positive comments than negative which is really really awesome actually and i think that sammy is obviously a testament to bettering your life and so am i honestly i've been i was pretty much an alcoholic since i started drinking when i was like 14 and i would drink all the time and now i don't at all for months on months so you can better your life if you have other positive people in your life that want to make you better instead of uh holding you back so find the positive people and the positive influences because they are there you know you might have to cut out a lot of friends and then when you're when you're deep enough out of it that you realize they were never your friends anyway so it's like just just keep pushing that's all i'm saying honestly for the dream you